Hi there, I'm Black Bright News and welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you are passing through, you're welcome to like, you're welcome to put the down the thumbs down, you're welcome to share, and you're welcome to subscribe if you like. Um, my returning subscribers, thank you for subscribing and thank you for hanging in there and going through all my different subjects and wondering what I'm doing next. Yeah, I hope you find this one interesting. This is about, yes, the coronavirus is, I mean, it's overkill. It really is. But I always try to come from it from a different angle. And I hope this is a different angle. Basically, what do the rich, what are the rich doing about the coronavirus? What are their plans? And I saw an article, I think it was in The Guardian or The Independent. I'll put the link down below because I'm not quite sure where I put it. But um, it was talking about how they are now ditching first class and going for private planes at 20000 per trip. And that's just from Florida to New York. 20,000. So that's what they're doing. Or they're going on their yachts into the Mediterranean. Or they're staying in their houses in the Hamptons. Or what else are they doing? Oh, and they've got these really um, designer, they're called Urban Air Masks. I think they um, range from about $69 to $99. Ah, let me see what else are they doing. They're sparing no expense. Um, they've got a European luxury brand of hand sanitizer. It's usually 99p, but it's being sold. Um, no, not, that's not the one they're using. You want to see what eBay's doing. Anyway, I'll come to that later. Um, I can't see the one that they're using. But anyway, Kim Kardashian has a fanny pack. It's £150 and it contains a first aid kit. I'm sure that's just a band-aid and some cream. Um, a biohazard bag, which is just one of those little um, triangle bags. Wet wipes, hand sanitizer, batteries, flashlight, and it says other and other things. But you know, 150 quid. I mean, that's probably in some kind of designer plastic bag or something. Um, oh, and some have chartered jets for an evacuation flight. So they've already chartered them so that when they're ready, when things get really bad, they've got their um, evacuation um, jets ready for a flight. Um, what else did I write here? Gwyneth Paltrow is wearing a black urban air face mask that costs $99 and says the coronavirus pandemic reminds her of her role in the 2011 disease thriller Contagion. And the air in a mask is sold out until April. And the N95 mask has been sold out for weeks. So, all the luxury events have been cancelled. Um, we've got Watches and Wonders that have been cancelled in Geneva, the art based um, festival in Hong Kong. Art Dubai has been cancelled. The Geneva Auto Show has been cancelled. Milan Furniture Fair has been cancelled. Singapore Yacht Show has been cancelled. Dubai International Boat Show has been cancelled. The Cannes Film Festival is still under review. And the South and Southwest Festival is still under review. So what's practical for us little folks on the ground who, who can't run away, who can't jump on a yacht, who can't um, charter an evacuation flight, and who can't charter a private plane. What do we do? Well, some practical advice is try to avoid the A&E, of course, um, you know, to contain and prevent the infection from pathogens. Pathogens, for those of you who don't know, are the viruses and the bacteria that causes um, the disease. Um, we all know there's different types of coronavirus. So when they're telling you on the news, oh, you know, there's another case of coronavirus, the coronavirus is just a cough and a cold. It's like the flu type symptoms. It's nothing major all the time. 
So we kind of get it in our heads that when somebody's got a case of coronavirus, you kind of think, oh, my God, it's the deadly part of the coronavirus. That's not necessarily so. And remember, half a million die a year of the flu. The coronavirus isn't as bad as the flu. But if we put it into perspective, we don't have to get too worried. Um, normal people like I don't know what they call elderly these days because they keep moving the goalposts. For me, elderly is like um, 80s and upwards. That's what I call the elderly and the young. And anybody with existing problems could be prone to the coronavirus. That means you could be prone to the symptoms, the coughs and all of that kind of stuff and the, and the flu type symptoms. Um, but what is important, you know, they've been selling out hand sanitizers. You'll never guess what on eBay. I'm going to put it up in my picture. But um, the 500 mil, this is the 500 mil. A sanitizer on eBay is going for between 918 pounds to 997 pounds 50. Now, a rare, not this one, a dental hand sanitizer, 50 mils, they're saying it's rare, is on eBay for a thousand pounds. And then they've got hand sanitizer, 100 mil, brand new, free postage for a thousand pounds. If you don't believe me, go to eBay, look for, look, put in hand sanitizer in the browser and go um, do your search from the uh, most expensive to the cheapest. It'll come up. Absolutely ridiculous. People have gone crazy. I went to get um, some soup from Sainsbury's yesterday. You know, little tin soups. And as I was walking down the aisle, I'm looking at the aisle. And I'm like, where's all the toilet rolls? Not one toilet roll. I'm saying, so what's happened to all the toilet rolls? Oh, the coronavirus. Have you heard about it? The coronavirus. Oh, we need toilet rolls. So all the toilet rolls are gone, you know. So it's not only the hand sanitizer, all the toilet rolls are gone. So I'm thinking, bloody hell, do I need toilet rolls? It kind of makes you think. And I don't want to be a sheep and follow anybody else because that's what causes shortages. But I went to Lidl's. Uh, well, I was lucky. I got one of those, um, I think it's either a six pack or a 12 pack. I think it was a six pack, actually. The only one left. Gone shelves are clean no toilet rolls couldn't believe it honestly so the panic is on peeps that's all i'm trying to say anyway what else was i going to say um alcohol yeah that's what i was going to say about the sanitizers they're absolutely they're not good for your hands apparently the ones with a high rate of alcohol the alcohol absorbs so quickly it's not even going to get the pathogens and also, it dries out the top layer of your skin. It actually dries it out. So you're opening, even though it might kill um, the bacteria quickly, you're doing longer term damage to the, the, the outer skin on your hands. So you have to use it sparingly. According to this bio, um, biological chemist, she says just water. And if you want to use soap, you use soap. And there's a way of washing your hands. You don't just go like that. What you do, you wash in between. Sorry, I think it's going a bit funny. You wash in between like that. You you wash on top like that. You wash on top like that. You include your wrists. And you then you go all over. But you must go in between your fingers and like that. That's how, well, that's what I remember being taught when I went in for the hand washing. They've actually got hand washing courses, just in case you don't know. So, yeah, so that's what you need to do with your hand washing. So just hand washing is suffice. I mean, people are going and people are exploiting it. That's what I mean. Thousand quid for that. Not that make, but that doesn't really matter. It's absolutely ridiculous. I think I paid 99p for that. And that was yesterday. I, I went in one of those pound saver shops. But they were sold out of hand sanitizers. 
And I had that hand sanitizer, this one here. I've had it since I was going on holiday in September. But you don't really need it. That's what I'm saying. So don't panic. Um, what else? So face masks um, in this audio I listened to. She said the face masks are useless and they're also dangerous because if you wear them and then you're not washing your hands properly and you're touching the face mask the whole thing is about getting it in, on your face that is supposed to be what you're supposed to try not to do so the face mask apparently they don't prevent anything so they will not prevent airborne viruses so i think oh just one little more thing jamaica denied 51 travelers onto the island and apparently um, 197 have been interrogated 62 have been quarantined and then they said six placed in isolation I thought quarantine and isolation was the same thing I didn't understand that differentiation if you know the differentiation between quarantine and isolation please let me know because I looked it up and it just said the same thing so if there's a minor technicality between the two words I'd like to know um still none showing up in africa at the moment which is good and i think i shall leave it there bye bye